about a little news that goes pop there, Lara. Absolutely. Yeah. Derek Jeter are ready to hit parenthood out of the park. The Yankee slugger and the Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover girl are pregnant with their first child. And roll the picture. It's a girl. There's the picture that Derek Jeter posted along with Hannah holding a giant bunch of pink balloons, looking a little flustered if you look at his face closely. They posted that in the Players Tribune. That's a sports website that Jeter started. And in a heartfelt article called The Derek I Know, Hannah talks about how they met, about how she thought he was a pitcher at first. I love that. And that the big softie already has a name picked out for his little girls, saying she says he's set on it, and she says, We'll see. <laughs> we'll see who gets the name. We haven't heard what that name couldn't, is yet. Couldn't happen to nicer people. Absolutely. Absolutely. They are great. Class, sweet, mm -hmm. really gentle. Congratulations to both of them. And, and I talked to him yesterday, and the name is Michelle. Really? You? No, I'm joking. I just uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's already on Twitter. It's too late. It's already done. Hey, I'm giving him an idea if he changes his mind. Okay, Michelle. I think she's going to change his mind. All right. Thank you, Michael. Oh and God, also in Pop News so this morning, if you thought you were bad ordering your half-calf mocha mochaccino at Starbucks, how about the mystery customer who put a poor barista through the ringer, ordering a drink with 27 very oh, specific oh, modifications oh, to what should have been a simple vanilla bean frappuccino. That is, until he needed stevia, monk fruit, matcha powder, foam, a third of a shot of almond milk, and a smidge of coconut milk in a venti cup served at exactly 34 degrees. And guys, I'm just giving you the Reader's Digest version. Yeah, I saw Greek yogurt on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, so, there's more. I was trying to spare you all <laughs> the pain that the barista felt. Somebody posted it on Reddit where thousands have commented on the fussy, fussy customer's request, including one Reddit user who says, for some people, being high maintenance must be a badge of honor. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow. wow. I wonder how it tastes. Yeah, it better taste really, really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Too stuff. much in it. The monk, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then finally, cardiologists from St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City are using this Valentine's Day to get their heart healthy message across with festive memes like one that says, that, that's the one that's cute, you got a broken heart, I'll fix you up. And then I like this one. Um, this is Dr. Allen. Date night equals you and me and a moderate amount of red wine and dark chocolate. <laughs> That's pretty good. And then I love this one. This is fantastic. Dr. Austin says, let's slip into something lacy. Only thing is, she's holding sneakers. She wants you to get out and move. The, the whole goal is to get that heart pumping and keep it that way. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs>